we discussed that how sticky ends can be joined by the use of DNA ligase and the sources from E. coli. Now, how the DNA fragments that have blunt ends, how it can be joined or ligated. So, here the DNA ligase from another source that is encoded by T4 phages, it can be used. But this joining mainly it is carried out or mediated by a synthetic molecules which is called as a linker. This linker molecule it contains sites for different type of restriction enzymes and, and they are also commercially available and uh, suppose one of the linker it is there that contain uh, restriction sites for EQR1 enzyme. So you have observed that the joining of sticky ends it is very easy, it is very efficient but blunt end ligation it is not so easy. For example the fragments that have been produced by uh, treatment with restriction enzymes like uh, T3 the blunt ends are produced so T4 DNA ligase can mediate ligation but if it is carried out with the help of linker molecules so it is uh, more advantageous or beneficial uh, for gene manipulation procedures. So this diagram will explain that how blunt and ligation can be carried out by using T4 DNA ligase. So here we have a linker molecule that is called as decameric linker molecule because it is composed of 10 subunits or bases like C, C, G, A, A, T, T, C, C, G and it also contains restriction sites for the enzymes EQR1. So we can join this linker molecules with foreign DNA or DNA fragments. So this foreign DNA it is mixed with synthetic linker molecules and DNA ligase will mediate its joining here. Now this linker molecules it contain restriction site for EcoR1 enzyme. So before ligating with vector molecule it is treated with restriction enzyme EcoR1 so that we can get cohesive or the sticky ends. So these cohesive or sticky ends has been created by uh, treating with EcoR1 enzyme. Now the vector it is also digested with same enzyme like EcoR1 so that we can get the same cohesive ends that contain AATT cohesive ends. When they are mixed together here then we can get a recombinant molecule and the DNA ligase it can bridge the gaps between the two strands. So one of the advantage of using linker molecule is that when we will transform it into a suitable host organism it will replicate there and sometime if we want to isolate our gene of interest or the foreign DNA. Now because it contains target site for EQR1 so it can be treated with EQR1 here restriction enzyme so this foreign DNA it can be excised again. So blunt end ligation it can be mediated by DNA ligase but it uh, may be more advantageous if we use linker molecules that is synthetic DNA molecules that can mediate the ligation because of the production of cohesive ends.